This presentation will give you a brief overview of how to understand your child's Key Stage 5 report. At the top of the data report, the first piece of information you will see is the school overview, which contains a summary of attendance information, your child's prior attainment at GCSE, and a summary of their behaviour, which will include behaviour points, achievement points, and the number of times that they've been late to AM or PM registration. The next section is their summary of current performance, and you'll notice there are either three or four subjects listed. It'll include a working at and predicted grade, attitude to learning, possibly an area for development, and an end of year 13 target grade. Target grades are generated by taking your child's prior attainment at GCSE and then flight pathing them to the expected levels of progress that DFE set each academic year. These target grades are inherently aspirational, but they are linked to what we expect your child to achieve in terms of their levels of progression and attainment to the end of year 13. For each individual subject, students will be given a working at grade. This working at grade will be a summary of current performance, either in module or summative assessments that they've completed at this point in time. The most important information you'll get from the class teacher is that predicted grade. You are looking for that predicted grade to be the same as or better than the target grade. There is obviously an issue if you see that predicted grade is below the target grade, and that will be an area for discussion at parents' evening if that predicted grade is below the target. Alongside that academic information, we provide you with an attitude to learning score, which I'll go through on the later slide. And if a child is presenting issues in class, staff may share with you an area for development. Right from the start of year seven through to the end of year 13, we use the attitude to learning system. This is designed to give you an overview of how well your child is engaging and demonstrating the values that we expect to see in each individual classroom and each subject. If your child is getting somewhere between a four to a six, there is very little areas for concern. But if they're getting somewhere between a three to a one, that shows that there is inconsistency or a cause for concern and maybe an area for discussion with staff. We want to see as many six forms as possible getting somewhere between the five to the six. And if students are getting something between the three to a one, staff do tend to share extra information around those areas of development on every report. So you have a clear understanding of what it is your child needs to do to improve. So you have a clear understanding of your child's progress. We provide you with two data reports per year and one full report alongside an online parents evening. This full report is exactly the same as the data report, with the exception that it includes a comment around strengths and areas for development in each individual subject. This additional information is designed to give you a quick overview of how well your child is engaging in their learning. If you have any queries, regarding your child's full report or the data reports you've received from us, please contact admin at bluecoatschool.com and thank you for the, taking the time to watch this presentation.